Hi, I'm Paul Nelson. Uh, I'm the historian here at the Western Reserve Fire Museum and Education Center. What can you tell me about the building? Uh, the building was originally built in 1926. It was built to be a fire station and a fire alarm dispatch center for the city of Cleveland. And how long has the museum been here? The museum is actually opened uh, for visitors beginning at the end of December last year. We've been working on it for a number of years. We've had a couple of temporary exhibits in here when we had a temporary occupancy permit. Uh, but uh, we've been working on it since about 19, correction, from about 2008 uh, when we began to work on serious uh, renovation of the building. Uh, our, our current exhibit is called from the Bucket Brigade to the Big Red Machines. And basically what we're doing is we're describing firefighting that began when the city began. Original firefighting started with a bucket. People had a bucket in their homes, and that was the primary means of fire defense. And so our exhibit begins with a display of fire buckets, and then we move off to show some of the hand-drawn and horse-drawn fire apparatus, and then moving over to some of the motorized equipment that became quite popular in the means of firefighting uh, in around 1920. What will people gain an appreciation for after going through the museum? Uh, well, it will try to uh, help them understand firefighting, help them understand how firefighting has evolved from some simple items like the fire bucket uh, to the current day modern fire equipment, big fire trucks, uh, ladder trucks, pumpers. So you'll be able to understand how firefighting progressed and evolved from the days of the settlers uh, to the modern uh, day activities.